Welcome to day number 22 of the 25 most notable American whiskeys of 2020. Hello, I'm Chad. Hi, I'm Sarah. Sarah, it's your draw today. I'm gonna give it a little shake. Getting real low here. Go ahead. <gasps> oh! Oh! That yeah. didn't feel good. No. Okay. Well, today we have the old Fitzgerald Bottled and Bond Spring batch, which is the 16 year old. Old Fitzgerald, just how old is it? It's 16 years old. There you go. And it is uh, bottled and bond, uh, as we said, so oh. 100 proof. In quite the fancy bottle, feels very holiday appropriate. Yes. Glad like, this one stuck around towards the end. It's also like red and green. So we we tried this one against the fall release, which we got a sample of um, from the distillery. And we actually ended up picking the spring, which I can't say that I'm mad about, Chad, because we don't have a bottle of the fall. Right. Um. So we actually have almost a full bottle of this. It was a 14 versus the 16, not that age is everything. I think no. I feel like we just talked about that the other day. We did. But uh, there was just something a little bit just a little more special. A je ne sais quoi. More, yeah, on the, on the 16. But all these, of course, 100 proof, bottle and bond. <sighs> Weeded mash bill. It has like a oak and a cherry, like some milk chocolate. Nice little mm. spice cabinet. Yeah, just a little warming. Very holiday appropriate. For another 100 mm. proof. Another <sighs> not a proof hound pick. I'm <laughs> keeping score because the next time somebody <laughs> comes at me with that, I'm gonna be like, you look. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Was that five? Fifth? Or fifth, fifth one? Fifth, I think, yeah. It's been at 100. Of around 100 25, or lower. 25. So 20% of them have been a, a 101 or lower. I think yeah. we had a 101. The Yellowstone. Yes, Correct. that's right. Yeah, Ooh, this is nice. Nice just, fruitiness in there, too. It just smells like a nice holiday like candy little, or something, like a, little, a chocolate. A little peach. Yeah, it's very good. Okay. I like it. So. Like such a good mm. mouthfeel, good flavor, depth for, again, I'm not surprised, but compared to what we've been drinking in the 120s and above for the most part, yeah. at 100 proof, this one's still got a lot going on. Ooh, where'd that cherry just come from? That's what I said. <laughs> Did you? It's got a fruit. Well, I said it on the nose. Okay. It's a, I said cherry. Yeah. I'm cherry into it. W with some with some citrus mm -hmm. zest in there too. Orange, maybe. Or I was gonna say lemon, maybe orange. Uh, short, I'm short, gonna stick with orange. Shortish finish. I'm ready to go in again. I already did it. I know. It's my mo. Would I even be me if I didn't do it? Mm. I can't help myself. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm getting more baked goods on the second sip. Mm. It's more, you know, holiday. A nice little warm hug. Yeah. You know, not not too strong of a hug. A friendly. We we're acquaintances. Hug. <laughs> but but of good. You met and it was good. It was good. You like this person, you want to be their friend. I don't know if I'm just letting the holiday vibe sink in too much, but I'm getting a little bit of gingerbread. Little bit. Hmm. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Not that I get that too, but that's nice. There's a slight, I wouldn't call it a bite of spice, but it is crisp. Yeah. It is a little zip in uh -huh. there, which, you know, I could actually see being, it almost gives you like a ginger ale mm. feeling. Like, okay. Um, that, or ginger beer, it's got ginger beer. That might be that little yes, that, kick, little, that little kick. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, where it's you know, yeah, less syrupy, mm -hmm. um, more of a bite in that way. I I, so that. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I would have probably just gone with the ginger beer note. I don't know about, but the cookie, it's an easy connection. I get it. Yeah, I mean, it does have some baking spices in there, so I feel like that's kind of where I got that from. But I do also think I'm definitely letting the holiday vibes. Sink How in. How can you not? Sink in. Ugh, I feel like this year we're even more nostalgic for everything <laughs> because we've had no- Normalcy? We've had no holiday parties, which like, let's even just be thankful that, you know, we have what we got. Right. Um, that we're around still, to I'm just, not have them. <laughs> right. I still just feel nostalgic for the things that we normally have that we haven't been able to do. So mm -hmm. I completely understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It just has, to, yeah, ginger. I, you really hit it, I think on that. It's got some light fruit notes, a little bit of, you know, your typical caramel and vanillas, a little chocolate, definitely the, the, the cherry and the orange, but the ginger. Yeah. And ever since you said ginger ale, ginger beer, 
Uh, now I'm kind of thinking in that like a holiday mule line, holiday mm -hmm. mule. Well, um, like a lemonade, a hard lemonade. I, I, again, the citrus in there, I'm still getting as lemon, and I'm sort of getting like a boozy lemonade. But I think the nice thing about it, because I think normally if I had something that I would describe that way, I'd be like, gross. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, the oak and the those dark notes, um, like the chocolate and a little bit of, you know, tobacco in there uh, mm, from mm. the from the 16 years yes is really balancing those fruit notes and those sweet notes out so it's pretty even and it's crazy because I feel like I normally struggle to pick out more than just a handful of notes on 100 mm, proof right uh, which I love about this which let's put that on the point of why why it belongs in here okay um, I can dig it yeah just very impressive a lot of depth I'm actually uh, in flavor for 100 proof glad that it's not uh, too leathery, too tobacco-y, too uh, oaky. I mean, there's definitely oak on here. Sure. But, um, but I feel like if this... Right. Yeah. I and mean, I feel like if this... Maybe this was barrel proof, it, those would, I feel like, be amplified. Maybe a little bit too, too much. I mean, come on, 17 years. That's... Um, unless it 16. was just the, the right... Sorry, 16. <laughs> I'm trying to add a year. All good. Uh, unless it was the right mingling of barrels there's you know there's no way much to, know. to be said about um blending barrels together and the art of that but you now i feel like this being at 100 proof is definitely helping it with that mm. extra age in here yeah and i feel like this is super approachable too but it so if you have somebody because i feel like one this is hard to find two it is expensive um so if you have somebody who maybe wants to buy a special bottle and can come across this, but they're not super into barrel proofs. I feel like this is the bottle mm. that will work for them because you are getting a lot of those rich flavors. You're getting yeah. a great mouthfeel and you're getting a proof that I think is approachable for everyone, everyone, everybody, which is everyone and everybody. Everybody's everybody. talking about it. Everybody's talking about everybody. it. Everybody. Um, so I feel like this bottle would make sense for somebody like that. Maybe somebody, or like if you're taking it to someone's parents' house, I don't know who you, what you're doing, but it's You the better holidays. be marrying her. That's what I'm saying. But this would be a great bottle that I think everyone could enjoy. It's fancy. Everybody, and look, it even looks like a little diamond. I'm it's, just saying, the holidays are the time to get engaged, oh. it seems like. So, yeah, it's um, fancy AF. This it bottle. is very fancy. I would deem this the if you're getting engaged this holiday season and you're going to her parents' house, you need this bottle. Bottle. Honey, he went to Jared. <laughs> he, went, <laughs> he went to Heaven Hill, actually. He went to actually. Heaven Hill. He went, honey, he went to Heaven Hill. How many carrots is that thing, Chad? <laughs> like a million? I don't know. Jeez. Oh, makes me want to do the Linda Belcher voice. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I can't oh, do it. Oh, look at that. Oh, look oh, at that. Little King Trash Mail. <laughs> I can't do it very well no, either. I can't but do man, it. I wish so I could. Jealous. That's anyway. one of the. Linda and also Bob. Jean. Mm -hmm. mm. Jean. Jane. I can't do it. Jane. Ugh. It's it's so Jane. low, but also cracks Jane. a little. Jane. Yeah. Jane. <laughs> Closer. You're getting better. <laughs> and then he does Jimmy Jr. So he puts a little, you know, uh, lift on it. And mm. um, he does a lot of characters. He does so many voices. John Benjamin. Very, very national, talented. National treasure. National I'll treasure. I'll just say it. Yeah. So I feel like we've summarized why we would put this in mm. and it's it's now been dubbed in its own category um you know people are always saying like what should i get for a special occasion and it depends on the special occasion uh yeah. and and if you like barrel proofs or not but for someone who if you don't like barrel proofs and you want to spend some more money i do think this is a good choice you know it needs no special occasion what whiskeyambitions.com it's our home on the internet for our glen karen's rocks glasses uh, water glasses, t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. Uh, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite. And for as little as $1 a month, you can join our community and conversation uh, and get lots of perks and, you know, exclusive content just for you. And it makes a great last minute gift. <laughs> you don't have to order anything. You just buy a you just buy a membership for somebody. Just, yeah, no, I think we uh, we hit it pretty well on on this one. Uh, a very giftable <gasps> bottle or shareable, should shareable. say. Shareable. You have to it say giftable. You better is really like them. A hefty price tag on this one, but um, no, what's inside? I don't is even good. remember how much it cost. It, it was over two hundred dollars. Ah! But yeah, not not still delicious. Cheap. Fifty dollars worth of 
decanter right here, though. <laughs> uh, you can reuse it. Do not throw this away, please. Please well, it's don't empty. throw it away. My gosh. If you want um, to throw it away, just email us at spurbanite.gmail.com. Send it to us. <laughs> Let us know. Yeah. We'll take it off your hands. Um, but. I guess that's where we're gonna leave it. Should so, be. Should uh, be. if you haven't subscribed to us already, we'd love to have you. You can click right up here. There's suggestions of other videos right down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow again. Until then, drink more bourbon. Bye.